is all that's left of Justice yeah. Mask. Say that. <coughs> I, uh... The best part about reading in heaven is that I don't need to wear my contacts. The best part about reading... Where am I?
Yeah. yeah. I don't know. The best part about reading. I've been trying my hand at gardening lately. It's a lot of trial and error, but I'm learning a lot. For example, don't tell your plants jokes, or they will definitely die. Sorry. I've been trying my hand at garden. For example, You guys friends? Why are you always trying to blow her up? Ugh, it's girl stuff, White. You wouldn't understand.
let you guys... to drop something off I thought you might like this oh yeah Perfect this beach looks. I feel like I should talk next time. I don't know, Mikey. This place doesn't seem so. Ah! Oh, sheesh. Tripwires? Are you enjoying my little presents, White? I suspected these might be your doing. Must have taken a long time to set all this up for little old me. Oh, don't worry. It was so worth it to watch you squirm. One wrong step and bits of your flesh will rain down on these gardens like confetti. My heart is pounding just thinking about it. Don't you have a mission you should be doing, little weirdo? Oh, what's wrong? Scared I might send you back to hell today? <laughs> Not really. To be honest, these little traps seem like fun. Fun? What can I say? I like the rush. <gasps> You're not supposed to like it! You're supposed to grovel at my feet for forgiveness! <sighs> Guess she's still pissed about yesterday. Even though she started it. What a pain.
just getting started. Next. started. Next.
There you are. Not yet. I was about to hit up the stragglers in Lower Heaven. Aww, abandoning me already? Oh, whatever will you do without me? White and red, sitting in a tree. E-A-T-S-H-I Oh, Violet. I was hoping I'd get a chance to compliment you on your work out here. Your traps have really been keeping me on my toes. Like I care about your toes. <laughs> They've actually gotten a bit too easy for me. Maybe you could make them, I don't know, a little less predictable. Hmm. You know, White, you sure talk a big game for someone who just stood by while your friend got killed. Jesus, Vi. Wonder what you'll do when green comes for red next. Will you give up? Crumple into a ball and cry? Oh, I just don't know if I want to wait that long to find out. Maybe I could just kill her myself. That's enough! <laughs> that little brat. Just a few days ago, she was calling me a great teacher. Well, how about I teach her a lesson she won't forget? <sighs> Come on, White, let it go. Let it go? She just threatened to kill you. The girl has issues. Now, I'm not saying you're wrong, but this is kind of all she knows. At a time when most young people are learning how to process their feelings, Violet was picking locks and slashing throats. Are you saying we don't have sympathetic backstories of our own? Yes, well, we were a bit older when we got into our line of work. <sighs> I don't know. I just can't help but feel for her. In life, she always seems so lonely. Lonely, huh? How am I supposed to work with that? You're a smart boy. I'm sure you'll figure something out. Wait, you really think I'm smart? Sure, for a baby. Not this again. Go back to complimenting me. Tell me I'm sexy or something. I can't tell a baby he's sexy. I'll go to jail. For the last time, I'm not a baby! Didn't even break a sweat.
another one down. Okay, let's keep it going. Not bad. Didn't even break a sweat. Violet, can we talk? What? You want to rub it in my face that you're not dead yet? No, I, I just wanted to apologize for how things went down yesterday. I don't want an enemy in you. I... I don't want an enemy in you either. But I need you to know that what you said earlier was callous and out of line. <laughs> About your flesh gun, Betty. Yeah, no, no! I, I meant what you said about Red. Well, don't expect me to apologize for it. Red is nothing but trouble. She'll milk you for all you've got, then stab you in the back. Damn it, Violet. No, I'm not doing this again. You can't keep accusing our friends of trying to kill me. Spring literal death traps on us, then expect me not to consider the possibility that you are the crazy murderer around here. Uh, 
newsflash, bozo. All your friends are crazy murderers. That's why we're all here in the first place. What makes you think Red is any more trustworthy than me? Has she told you anything about your life? About Green? Oh, she told me all about Green. Really? So then you must already know who he used to be. Why would that matter? Oh, it matters so much. You of all people would agree, White. What the hell are you going on about? Ugh, you dummy. Green was our old boss. Why would Red keep that a secret from you, I wonder? <laughs> oh, you're full of it. Hey, don't take my word for it. You can always ask Green yourself. Not bad for a dead guy, huh? I'm seeing far fewer neons in the pews today. A sure sign that we're past the halfway mark. The riffraff has been thoroughly culled, but that is no invitation to rest. After all, salvation will be granted only to those who reach above and beyond their productivity quotas. <clears throat> I have something I'd like to say. Uh, yes, uh, Green, uh, go right ahead. White! Huh? Meet me in the Hanging Gardens later. I'd like to speak with you. That is all. Green. What the hell? This is so embarrassing. Ah, to be singled out by our champion. Ooh, how fortunate for Neon White. There is truly no better motivator than that of a passionate rivalry. A rivalry is a two-way street, so just don't let him engage with you, White. We've got other plans. Hello? Are you listening? Hey, Red, do you know anything about who Green used to be? In life? I... I don't. Uh, I'm sorry. He must have been a real character, huh? I'd, uh, imagine so. Ah, oh, well. Guess it's not that relevant to our goals, anyhow. Mm, no, it's not. But that reminds me. I did meet up with a Neon who seems like she might know someone. I was hoping it wouldn't be true. She's definitely hiding something written all over her face. Go ahead. Keep your secrets, Red. I'll uncover the truth myself. You're back. Don't act so happy to see me. Let's see here. Your next mission requires this neon rank. Well, look at that. You've earned yourself a heaven. One moment while I check. Oh, Mr. White. Mikey's meeting with another neon at the moment. That's never stopped me before. Huh. Looks like the meeting just ended. You can say hi. I'm not gonna kill you, jerk. You can go now, Mr. White. I know. I know. All right, I'm just gonna get straight to it. I'm assigning you to one of the toughest parts of the Hanging Gardens, but I ain't happy about it. Why is that? Because if you're gonna die here, this'll be the place you do. Thanks. Really appreciate the confidence. You work here as long as I have. You start to see the patterns. This is the point where even the beefiest neons start to lose steam. And you're just a poor little twig. I didn't take you for such a sentimental guy, Mikey. I just don't like this crap. This needless dying. It goes against my credo. The believers make it out like it's what we deserve for leading such sinful lives. The believers can go suck an egg. Hey, language. Don't you freaking tell them I said that, you hear? I don't get it. 
If you hate sending Neons to their doom so much, why don't you just quit? You think I got a choice here? I don't see why you wouldn't. Of course not. You're a mortal. Spoiled by the freedom to choose. Ugh. It's really not that hard. You could just walk up to the believers and tell them your little egg thing. And you could just get the hell out of my office. Hey, you better choose your words carefully. They might be the last you ever say to me. Not with my luck, it won't. <laughs> Love you too, Mikey.